Hello Druggers and welcome back to another episode of my Snow and Hardmore playthrough. So I'm Chris from Test Drive and welcome to episode 7 of our Tame Russian Federation. If you did miss the previous episode, we'll have a link at the end of this video. I will also have a link to the full playlist in the top of the screen for you right now so that you can get started from the very beginning or of course where you last left off. However, if you did see the previous episode then you would have thought that we have made our way over to the rift. We got one of the watchtowers in the rift so we are going to be continuing to scout the rift. We also rescued a Tuz 420. So we have that with us in the rift. We're going to be doing a little bit of scouting. We're also going to be doing a, some of the tasks over in the rift that we can hopefully get done in this episode. But if you are enjoying the series, make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course get yourself subscribed so that you never miss a video. But with all that being said and done, let's jump in and let's go trucking. <laughs> So here we are, it has just become night time unfortunately. Because I did all the preparation between episodes, so when I started to record this one, turn the game on, and of course, it always seems to be just before night time, which is uh, a little bit unusual. But as you can see, we have made our way over to these couple of tasks we uncovered in the previous episode. So we are going to tag these real quick. And we're going to leave the Tuz there. We also get a Tuz. 420 in for this task so if we can get this tuz rescued then we will have twin tuzzes the tuz twins which will be quite an achievement let's tag this other one quickly while we're here turn the engine off lost and found okay so let's just have a little rundown because i did i did come over here and tag uh this task the Great Nomads did that with the Tuz. I also just realised there's a scout, there's a scout fuel carrier down here, so we will need to bring that out at some point. We also got these two tasks, and we've got a couple more watchtowers over here to collect. Oh, there's three actually. Didn't realise that. So let's have a look at this pacifist. Pull the Tuz to a safer area. And then we have to restore the Tuz. Now, unfortunately, we do have a service trailer, but we have no way of connecting to it. And I'm pretty sure that the Tuz is going to be fully broken. Can we change truck yet? So let's use the Tuz to rescue the Tuz. And then we'll see how badly damaged it actually is. Oh, let's not go. No, let's not go all the way down, I said. Come on, back up. Back up. There we go. Attach the winch to the tuz. Oh, that was not close enough, apparently. That's fine. Let's give it another go. So we do have quite a few um, repair points. We have quite a few on the tuz. We also have a little bit on the uh, jeep. Get a better angle over here. Don't want to attach to that tree right underneath my truck. Use a little bit of common sense. There we go. Oh no, that was forwards. Didn't want to go forwards. Go back. Go back. Yeah, we just got stuck on a rock. There we go. Should be bait. It should be able to get it back. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. There we go. We're up. Kind of. But not really. We are very, very stuck on a rock. Okay, I think we're up. Let's rescue this does. No. Come on, pull it up. I know we haven't got the best angle right now. I'm pulling it against a rock. But this truck does not have the best of turning circles. Sorry, my fruit is a little bit sore today, so... If I sound a little bit hoarse, that is the reason why. Right, let's see if we can get this up. 
If we can just get onto the grass, we should have a lot more traction. Don't have the best traction on those rocks with these tyres on. And we're over the rock. Please get over the rock. Uh, it is able to drive, so it's not that badly damaged. Just have to get around this tree. I'm guessing this is the safe location. We just have to work out exactly how much we need to restore it. Start tracking the pacifist. We need about 400 points and just a load of fuel. We might be able to do that. I'm not sure how many we have in the Tuz itself. I'm pretty sure we have quite a few. So let's repair. Oh, we only have 150. Well, that is a shame. That is a big old shame. So, how many are we going to need? We're going to need 98 points. Which we have, actually, on the, on the Jeep. So, actually, before we go any further, let's bring the Jeep over and get it fully repaired. And then I think we'll take it over to the gas station and get it fully refueled. So, repair from the trunk repair points. That's 98. Oh, that's going to be okay. Quite a bit more than I realized. How many short are we going to be? 68 points short. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. Hopefully we can get a resupply zone. We're actually just going to leave that there. I'm going to do a little bit of scouting just to see if we can find anything that can help us. We need 68 repair points. So we're going to go over, take some watchtowers. Get a little bit more of the rift open. Put a waypoint on the watchtower there. Just follow this road all the way, I guess. I think we might take the, the little dirt road off to the side. I think that is going to be a better route into the watchtower. We can hope at least. No harm in hoping. We do also need to check how many of the upgrades we need. I do have a feeling that we've missed a few. Of course, we can't check that until we've got all the watchtowers in the rift. And then we, I guess we, oh god! And then I guess we just check uh, map runner, see where the upgrades are that we have missed, if we have missed any. Could be that they are all hiding on rift. Guess we'll have to wait and find out. The watchtower should be right over here somewhere. I think that's it right there, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like we also had a task over here somewhere. I did see the uh, yellow dancing ants. There it is. So we might as well tag that on the way past. And that looks like it's going to be another truck that we need to rescue. Old Faithful. What do we need for that? We don't get to keep it. What do we need for Old Faithful? Need to restore that one as well. So maybe we should have just brought another truck in to grab that uh, that service trailer. Anyway, there is the watchtower. Didn't uncover anything, but we're going to make our way over to this watchtower. And if we follow this road. We can't follow this road. We have to go down the hill. Down the hill, I guess. And then across the river. 
Ja, down the hill across the river. Hopefully this hill isn't too bad. It does look like there's kind of a little dirt path here, so... Seems like it might be doable, that is a roll. And back on the wheels, no. Almost. Almost did a full 360. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, this, uh, this whole um, hill looked a lot deeper on the map. It wasn't too bad, we made it down. Now we just need to go across the river. Across the river and we shall be there. Kind of. So I guess I might as well just cross here. There are a few winch points that we can use. Looks like there used to be a bridge. Which has long since been demolished. Dangerous water levels. Oh god, that is very deep. Okay, we can't stay here too long because... Oh god. We're going to actually turn the engine off. So we're not taking more damage than we need to. That way we can just use the winch. Two winches over. But yeah, that is pretty much completely in the water there. No, don't roll. Don't swim away. Do not swim away. Just need to get back on some solid ground. There we go. That is to kind of swim down the stream there. Which was not ideal. Would have lost our truck. Would have had to rescue it with the... Or we would have had to recover it. I don't think we could have got it with the Tatarin. And we are up. Beautiful. Yeah, just a little note to self. Don't come through there with a small scout. Should be alright though, in in a bigger truck. Should be absolutely fine because we'll have a better ride height than this scout. And a lot more weight, so. Okay, making our way closer to the watchtower. It's just popped up there. So let's tag this one as well. That has uncovered quite a bit actually. Uncovered an upgrade which we shall get straight away. There's another fuel carrier. The Great Nomads. Which is a loaf. And an old lumbia. There's also a trailer. Scout flatbed. And a scrapyard. Covering all fronts. Okay, well I guess we're going to get that upgrade, we already tagged that task, the Great Nomad, and then I guess we'll move on over to the final watchtower. Also might as well refuel while we are in the area. So I actually think we just need to go through these trees. Actually let's just go back. Let's just go back, follow the road, because we don't want to get lost in the trees again. We did that in the previous episode, and it was not very fun. What a save. Look at that save. Reflexes like a ninja. Let's make our way through here. We might be able to make use of the loaf. Not make use of it, but we do need to deliver it. And if it is in running condition, then we might be able to at least pull it along closer to its location. If not the entire journey. Yeah, let's sprint through here, little Jeep. Show us what you're made of. We'll come over, get the upgrade first so that we don't forget about it. 
need to find a good way to get to it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Now there is a fuel trailer over here. This is another engine for the yacht and both of the cans. Cans. However you want to say the name. And we got a little fuel trailer, which is ours, I believe, because it was on the map. So if it's not on the map, then that is usually an indication that it's related to some sort of task or contest. But anyway, let's refuel. 2,000 litres. Beautiful stuff. We'll definitely be out, or we'll definitely be bringing another truck in here at some point. But let's have a look at this car, this uh, loaf. Is it a car and loaf? I think it is the car and loaf. And it was called the Great Nomad. So let's see real quick where it needs to go. Deliver to the service station. Start tracking that. Where is the service station? Oh, we need to restore it first. But yeah, that is just going to stay there. Sorry, if it was just a delivery location, then I would have took you with me, but I don't have any more repair points. And I'm pretty sure, I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure we don't get any resupply zones in the rift. Where are we even going? Yeah, I guess we could follow this road all the way down. Let's put some waypoints on so we don't get lost. Uh, yeah, seems about right. Get rid of this one. No, get rid of this one. There we go. Somewhere like that. Get rid of that one as well. There we go. Yeah, something like that, and then into here somewhere. Looks like a good a plan as any. So yeah, so far the rift is not too bad. It's very, um, like the roads are very unique. A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. But the actual mud isn't too bad. I haven't seen any terrible roads as of yet. There was a bit of an issue with the tuds. It was a bit too big for one of the roads when we were delivering, or when we were moving over to the other tuds. But yeah, rocks. Rocks in the middle of the road, proving a bit of an obstacle. But the Jeep seems to be coping pretty well. Just as I say there is no bad roads, we then come across this whatever this is moving away down not feeling too confident if I'm honest we should probably go where there is some winch points just in case but there is a winch point down there guess that will have to do kind of feel like we're going to tip it A little bit forward. Ooh. Head burst. Turn the engine off again. See if we can't just winch our way over. Yeah, that seemed to work. Seemed to be pretty okay. Beautiful stuff. Was a bit risky, but we managed to do it, so definitely worth the risk. Alright, and then we are heading into the fog of war. We need to keep an eye out for any rows that head off to the I think it's to the left. If I'm not mistaken. Well this is a bit This is a bit muddy, isn't it? You would have thought they'd take better care of their roads since people are living here. It's funny, you see all the people in these houses, but you don't see the people, but you see all these houses and outside they've usually got just like a 
a box standard SUV and you think well if I'm struggling to get through this in like specialized mud tires and a winch every five seconds how on earth are they gonna even leave their house with these box standard SUVs does make you think doesn't it I know the backstory is that it's kind of had a uh, a catastrophe but, I mean look at that car how is that car ever gonna survive in the rift as it currently is doesn't really make sense but anyway enough complaining there's also one there that I think or that, that could just be a trailer I guess but anyway, let's move on forwards. Push through. Yeah, this is getting really wet and muddy now. Luckily, there is quite a few winch points. And because the, uh, the, the Jeep is not that heavy, we can just skim over the top, which is absolutely beautiful. There's not even a road anymore. Just water. Where's the road gone? I don't even know where the road would be. I, I guess that way. Why are we going here? I mean, there is a truck there, but... Were we not heading towards a watchtower? Okay, well, we'll go towards that truck. And I think probably push further in. See if there's any way we can get to that watchtower. Dead tree... Out of the way, dead tree. But I don't think this truck is a truck that we are going to be able to keep. Seems to be the case in Russia. Seems to be a lot of rescue missions that we don't actually get to keep at the end. Doesn't look like a very useful truck anyway. If anything, it looks like a highway truck. Finders keepers. Even though we don't get to keep it. I guess someone else gets to keep it. After we've restored it. The is the 6. So it's, de it's a decent truck. Not the best in the world. But. It would definitely get the job done. If you needed it to. Alright. So we're going to find a way. Over here. I'm going to guess. Just through the trees. A really fancy finding another way around once we are already here but to be honest I haven't discovered too many upgrades we do know there is one that we missed in I think it was Zimnigors we just got within 100 meters of it and then we ran out of fuel yeah, easy peasy that was much better than finding our way around and we're gonna get the is it I think it's the final watchtower? I'm not gonna say it though because it could be completely wrong. Even though I just said it, but you know what I mean. So covering all fronts and a resupply point. And in with the new. We've also got another small scout flatbed. Got a uh, contest. Got another upgrade down here. It's, yeah, it is the final watchtower. But yeah, let's, let's get these two tasks tagged. And then to be honest, I don't really think there's too much we can do right now with these scouts. Because we don't have any scout that can take a trailer. We can't get any deliveries done. And let's accept that. We can't, um, we can't get any of the trucks restored. Wasn't there like a task here as well? Yes. Access to location. So that is a fuel tanker we need to deliver. Fair enough. So refuel. Okay, then let's just go through a bit of a plan. Is there any of these that we can actually get done right now? 
But that is restore the can. We can't do that. Deliver to the fuel station. We could do that, but we need the fuel, if I'm honest. So there's no point doing that. We do have cement that we need to deliver to the four houses, but we don't have... Oh, there's another upgrade. Didn't even see that one. Okay, so we've got two upgrades to get before we head on out. Beautiful. Unexpected guest is... Okay, so we can start doing that one. That is just come in and get this watched or uh, this uh this fuel trailer. So we can we can definitely do that one. Lost and found is a current side trailer. Could probably do that with the Tuz. Yeah, you could definitely do that with the Tuz. Finders Keepers is restore the six. Oh, Faithful is restore the step. And Pacifist is to restore the Tuz. So let's go over and try and get some of these upgrades. I think then we'll get the... Uh, we'll go over and get the task with the fuel trailer. The scout fuel trailer. Over at the entrance to the rift. But then other than that, I don't think there's too much we can actually get done in the rift right now i think we need to bring either the taiga over i think the taiga would be the better option to bring over get that truck into some action so where are we going for this upgrade us miles away okay fair enough so we're gonna go down here down here i guess and then just across here yeah, and we'll go back onto the roads, follow this road all the way along, and get this final upgrade. How many upgrades are we missing? It says 19 and 24, so if we get these two, that'll bring it to 21. And then we have the one in Zimdegors, which will bring it to 22, so we're missing two upgrades that we have not uncovered yet. But that's fine, we will just check map runner. See where they are located and then we will head on over there and pick those up. Probably in the next episode. I don't want to have a massive break while I'm looking things up. Ooh, big two wheel moment. Jeep trying to think it's a bike. Definitely not a bike, sir. But we made it back onto the road. So we do have a contest here. Let's just check if this is a contest we can get done right now. If it's going to be any sort of delivery task, then we'd not be able to. Um, we need a map out of the rift created by a lands. We need a map out of the rift created by the landslide. That does not make sense. Navigate the rift it created and visit all areas marked on the map. We've got six minutes to get gold. Let's just check real quick what that is. I mean, I guess we could do that. I feel like I want to get this upgrade first though, or these two upgrades first. Yeah, we'll get this, we'll get these upgrades first and then we'll come back and do that because that is going to be quite a challenge well not a challenge but it's going to take quite a long time to go around all of those areas should be able to do it though in the jeep does seem quite nippy another engine for a load of the different russian trucks but yeah we don't really need any upgrades right now we have Fully upgraded the uh, the Tager, so that does not need anything, and we don't have any other trucks right now. So, so these upgrades are not going to be super important, but I do like to get them done, get them off the map. Yeah, we kind of dug ourselves a hole there. We couldn't get off the winch for some reason; it wouldn't disconnect. But anyway, they're set on over. 
to these upgrades. Try not to kill the jeep on the way. There's also some sort of warehouse in there. I'm thinking maybe I might as well just go straight over the swamp. Because this road is pretty nasty anyway, so... Can't imagine we're going to lose any time if we just go straight for it. What is this? Is this a pickup location? No, this is an unloading zone. Fair enough. Can't squeeze our way through there. That's fine, we'll just go the other way. Go around the house. Destroy his beautiful fence. And then the upgrade is along the coast. So as long as we head towards the coast. We should be pretty good. I think it was down here. There it is. I found it. Raise suspension for the Voron AE. Nice. But if we do end up buying the Voron, at least we can have raised suspension. But anyway, let's head on back to that contest. Let's give the contest a go. You never know. We might be able to absolutely blitz it. Start earning some money. Alright, okay, let's give this a go. I did map out the routes with waypoints so that we can just follow it a little bit easier. But let's go. Six minutes to beat for that gold medal. Also give us a good chunk of money. Should be able to do that. This uh, this truck is pretty nip nippy and nimble. When I said that, just rolled it immediately. She's going to waste us a little bit of time. Come on, back on your wheels. There we go. So it does look like we need to like follow a. Oh god. Follow sort of a riverbed. That seemed to be the way to go. I think we already went the, one, went the wrong way. We are going to go up this hill. Mangler, or oh, we need to... Oh. My, uh, my English is absolutely terrible today. Not able to speak at all. But we've got point number two. No, we didn't. We got waypoint number two. I did do a few more waypoints than actual points that we needed to achieve. Just make it a little bit easier to follow. So we're not taking any wrong directions. But yeah, I guess this is what they meant by the rift. This meant that uh, there's like a a big hole in the in the in the roads, I guess. By a landslide, I don't see how this would be caused by a landslide, but. Either way, we have a task to do, so let's get on and do it. Don't ask too many questions. I think that's point three. We get under here? Yeah, just about. That was lucky. I think if we had any resupply points or the repair points, probably would have got stuck. Going underneath that. Bit of damage on the engine. Which we do have to be careful about actually because we don't have any rep repair points so... If we do damage the engine too much we will be pretty stuck. We we'll have to come in and rescue it with the Tuz. And then take it back to a garage. Definitely don't want to have to do that. But we are pretty much bullying our way through this is great to see we've got three points left I think I think there were six in total Jesus how was supposed to get over there I guess we'll go this way take a little bit of a scenic route and back down into the water I've no idea how long this has been so far. 
Pikmin, it seems oh, okay. Seems doable. There's no way we're getting through that though. So I think we're gonna have to go back up and then over the other side. We get our little truck down here, maybe. Oh, did a bit of power. Perfect. Almost like that was planned. Definitely wasn't. I had no intention of nose diving off the top of a cliff. But we did it anyway. Successfully, which is absolutely amazing. Damaging the gearbox now, which we, which I would assume is a key sign that the uh, engine is pretty damaged. Yeah, as you can see there. Engine is not efficient anymore. We are going to be burning a bit more fuel. Usually when you start damaging the actual gearbox, that is when you know that the engine is had enough. Oh, don't tip there. That is a bad place to tip. Last one. Right in front of us. I think we'll leave the... Well, we leave with a gold medal if we do get gold. I don't think we'll go back and attempt it anymore because our truck is pretty damaged. Come on, last little bit. Don't run out of fuel, please. And there we go. Oh, we missed it by 22 seconds. Look at that. But we'll, we'll come back and do that some other point. But yeah, there is nothing really. Oh, we can do that. We can do that task down there. We might as well. Is it lost and found? No. Um, Unexpected guess, that's the one. We'll get over and do that one as well. Might as well, since we are in the area. Oh, we do need to refuel. That is fine. We can do that real quick. And then I think we'll do the curtain side trailer with the Tuz. But then after that, I think we're going to have to pull out of the rift. I don't think there's anything else we can actually get done. Over here. Well, that was a bad place to uh, tip. Somehow kind of managed to rescue it. But not really. There we go. We're through. But yeah, let's head on over. Get the other task completed. So we have made it back down to the to the tunnel, the gateway to the rift. Um, we brought the other tuss along with us. As you can see, the engine is pretty beaten up right now, to the point where it's it's stalling. Pretty much at every five minutes so there you go and it takes a little bit of while to get going again we will be heading over to some sort of resupply zone with this truck which is why i brought the tuz over with us because if we're going to a resupply zone we might as well now that the tuz can pretty much drive itself we might as well take it with us so we can get it fully repaired but for right now we are going to focus on trying to get this fuel trailer or at least the task the task isn't actually to get the fuel trailer but there is a fuel trailer at the end of the trail so we might as well get that if we can although it's going to be very difficult with this engine it is very 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 broken so it might take a little bit longer than expected but we should still be able to get there. We did refuel at the gas station. Not at the gas station, but at a trailer at the gas station. So we should be alright for fuel. We are, of course, going to be burning a bit more. Now that we have a broken engine. As you can see, we are up to, yeah, about 5-6 litres per, per minute. Instead of the usual... I think it was at 3-4. Yeah, this is going to take a, a bit of a 
bit of a while quite far over out of all that I chose the wrong win point there we go I could imagine this would be quite easy without the broken engine because you just keep cutting across the grass instead of going in the lake or the pond however with a broken engine as you can see it's pretty painful to the point where we even get stuck maybe some dip lock would help dip lock and low okay we have finally made it to the task location taking a very very long time and there we go also grab the fuel trailer i don't think we're going to be able to take this fuel trailer back with us just because of how broken the engine is but we might as well refuel while we are here and i think we're going to end the episode here basically due to the fact that i need to go out I don't actually have any time to continue recording today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the series. And of course, get yourself subscribed so that you never miss a video. I don't want to say disappointed, but it, it doesn't really feel like we got that much done today. We did. We uncovered three of the watchtowers. We got silver in the contest. Um, we got two more upgrades and of course we sort of rescued another tuz but not really but yeah that is going to do it for this video i hope to see you in the next one again a massive thank you for watching and for liking take care and goodbye